In this Fusion 360 foundational concept video, we will learn where your Fusion 360 data exists. Accessing and working with your data in Fusion 360 is simple, but needs to be approached in a different way than you would with a traditional CAD tool or software. While you can access the options to do things like save, export, and import from the file menu, shown here, you don't open existing Fusion 360 designs from this menu or from a local file location. Your files are stored in the cloud and accessed from the data panel, web browser, or mobile application. So let's dig into this and learn more about where you will find your Fusion 360 data. In the data panel, you can see your work is contained within different projects, and over time they can add up. That's why there's a search option at the top, or if you scroll to the very bottom, which is where you can also access sample files, you will find a filter. I'm looking for my Grinder Vice project, so I'll begin to type that in, and instantly I've found it. Now, to make finding easier, I can pin this, which will prioritize it over non-pin projects. In some cases, you won't see the green pin, but instead an avatar. This means I am not the admin to this project. Similarly, when you're done with the project, you can right-click and archive it. Anyway, let's do what I set out in the first place and open the Grinder Vice project. Contained within the project are subfolders, fusion designs, and anything related to the project. We can upload over 100 different file types to this project so I can access them anywhere in the world. Let's add a new folder to contain the related marketing content because this is more than just a design tool. If I want to add other members to the project, I can quickly change to the People tab. Here you can see Bryce has already been added, and if his work is done, or I no longer want to share with him, I can just as easily remove him. Or add another member by typing an email address here and clicking Invite. Now let's go back to the Data tab. I can alter how I see data stored and how it's displayed, but that just comes down to personal preference. Before I open the Grinder Vice, we'll click the small info icon to reveal additional details about this design. Here it will tell me when it was last saved and by whom, and it will give me access to past versions of this design. These versions are made every time a design is saved, which makes recalling past designs incredibly easy. Although, by default, only three show up here, the full list is accessible by expanding the versions by clicking here. To the right of each version, there are two icons, one to promote the version and another to open that version. Promoting will not lose the work done in the versions after this, but instead will add a new version at this state. I'll open this version and take a look at where the design was at this point. After a quick check, I'll close the model and instead access the data from a different location, Fusion Team, which is just a different way to access your Fusion 360 data in a web browser You'll see, in this case, it will use my default browser, Chrome, and takes me to a page that contains similar but more data than we were seeing before. You can very quickly see what other designs this model is referencing or referenced by. You can see drawings, animations, simulations, and renderings. In a traditional CAD tool, these would be multiple files that you would have to track and manage. Also, in Fusion Team, you can see previous comments and turn on or off share links. Next, you can see the version history with descriptions and view and markup designs by adding new commentary. Looks like I have a new directive to add the missing hardware, which again is tracked and stored within the comments history which travel with the file. The other options here can create share links, start live reviews, and even allow the viewer to download the model. But by far the easiest way to get into this design, making those intended design changes, is to use the Open Infusion button. Now back in Fusion 360, let's open up the data panel. I don't have the correct hardware within this model, but my vendor has sent me the model which I've placed on my desktop. To get this into the project, let's upload it using the button here. Once I do so, I'll just need to locate the file and select Upload. This will convert non-Fusion 360 CAD files into Fusion 360 data automatically, and once it's done, I'll start to see a preview of the model in the data panel. I'll look at the info for this new model in Fusion Team once again, and I want you to note that it's not used in any other designs. I'm also not a big fan of this nondescript name, so let's change it. When I switch back to Fusion 360 and look in the data panel, that rename has not taken place yet because a refresh is required. One way to know that for certain is to pay attention to the blue notification pop-up, indicating that something within this folder has been updated. I can select the refresh text here, 
or from the top of the data panel, and the new name is now presented. At this point, I'll insert this into my current active design. I'll then place this with a joint, and while I'm at it, let's insert the handle into the design as well. With that done, we'll collapse the data panel to focus on our design, and let's talk a little bit about what we just did. If starting a design from scratch, it makes a great deal of sense to design from a top-down approach. But in cases like these, where we might reuse simple geometry like hardware, or want to start from a previous design, like in the case of the handle, it makes a great deal of sense to use what's called a distributed design. These externally made designs show somewhat differently in the browser, with a chain icon prior to their name, and will behave differently. Changing their geometry is locked completely. When I right mouse click on this handle piece from the browser, you'll see different options here specific to these linked components. And if I want to make a design change, I would either need to break the link or open the component. With that done, this component will act in a similar fashion as the rest of these components. And if I want to delete this conical face for a simpler version, I can simply delete those faces out. Now let's rename that component to better suit this design and even save out a copy to perhaps be used in another design later, helping this design evolve but stay independent at the same time. I'll place the new copy into a specific folder. Back in the data panel, let's review what we just did. We started by inserting this design into the grinder vice assembly, but then to be able to make changes to it, we broke the link. After doing so, the component in the assembly became independent of the original but then to be able to use this newly designed handle externally, we saved out a copy to the parts folder, visible here, and it reflects the design change. So now we have three independent handles, the original, this one, and the one contained and unlinked with the grinder vise design. Now let's go ahead and save the grinder vise and add a version description, then go back to the main grinder vise project page, and we will see it update. We'll see version 19 will soon be shown within the data panel. Let's go back to Fusion Team by clicking on the project name at the top and open the details for the grinder vise. And now you will see it uses the hinge nut we added. On the flip side, and as expected, if we select the hinge nut, you can see it is used in the grinder vise assembly. Finally, we want to make sure you are aware that you can export your data out of Fusion 360 by using the export option from the file menus or by selecting export from the right mouse menu. However, as noted in this warning, at the current time you cannot export files that include distributed designs from Fusion 360. So let's open Fusion Team one last time and choose to export it from the cloud. Using Fusion Team, we can export designs with external references. Now we hope this helps you understand the fundamentals behind accessing and sharing your data from Fusion 360 and Fusion Team.